Welcome back to the Vexillology Volumes, where we put the ill in Vexillology. Now that we know what Vexillology is and a cool design detail, there's only one natural next step. Space, baby! Yes indeed, flags have been to space. As a matter of fact, I've also been to space. More specifically, the moon, where I signed a contract with the Argentinian government. Did you know that EBM stands for- But my personal documents don't matter here. Let's discuss the flags that have been to space. The study of space began as a very peaceful practice, but then both sides of the Cold War developed intercontinental ballistic missiles, so it was about time to put a couple rules into place. The Outer Space Treaty of 1967 took a page out of the Antarctic Treaty's book, basically stating that militaries are cringe, games are cringe, and science is based. Before anyone had even gone to space, space agencies were the first to create their own symbols. This meatball is pretty recognizable as the logo of NASA, but before that they also made this seal, and it's pretty obvious where the current insignia got its inspiration from. Alright, well, a seal is fine by itself, and doesn't need to be put on a flag. I mean, flags that do that are just awful, am I right? What is this, a US state? Thankfully, this flag isn't actually used in space. Instead, astronauts have patches on their suits displaying the proper NASA insignia. Flag patches have been put on the suits since the Gemini 4 spacewalk, and they're used for identification. Since Gemini 5, space agencies have even been making special patches for specific missions. For example, the Space Shuttle program, which included many attempts to make cheap, reusable shuttles to make transport easier. Their badges include many bald eagles, as well as a pegasus. Because we all know that those can be in space. The European Space Agency even goes above and beyond, having a black patch with the flags of all member states on it. Finally, a sophisticated space agency that doesn't need a stupid looking flag. That's even worse! Does your country not operate their own flights? Well, not to worry, because these days, every single flag has gone to space before. Whether that's on a mission to be sold to Vexel files for a bunch of cash, because they have space stuff on them, I guess or on the International Space Station, where every flag has flown. Okay, look man, you're really ruining the mood here. But of course, the most popular space flags have got to be the American flags on the moon. Unfortunately though, placing a flag on the moon comes with a few problems, the first one being imperialism. Remember the Outer Space Treaty? Yeah, claims are cringe. If the US placed their flag on the moon, it will basically appear as if they were claiming the whole moon, and that's not allowed. Hey, America, how about instead we place the UN flag on the moon? How does that sound? I'm paying you! Oh, Right, carry on. So the US flag did get placed on the moon, but to compromise, they also put a plaque there saying, well, at least not the Christian flag. That's not actually true, I made that up. It actually said this. Problem number two. There's no wind on the moon, and flags look a little bit sad if they're just hanging there. So the flag looks like it's waving, but it's actually suspended from a bar on top to create the illusion that it is. Problem number three. There's no blanket. We Earthlings are protected from the sun's ultraviolet rays by the ozone layer, but since the moon doesn't have that, all of the flags that have been placed on the moon are probably completely white because of it. Yeah, answer the really obvious joke here. And those aren't even all of the problems. For example, the first flag got knocked over due to the rocket blast and has probably disintegrated, which I hope will never happen to me. Also, they probably all look like Swiss cheese at this point because of all the micrometeors that blast right through them. So that was a quick summary of space flags. Remember to subscribe. Did you draw this? This looks like ass. During the age of exploration, why am I in space? I can breathe. Uh, uh, uh. Hey. 
Hey, hey, thank you for watching this video. I'm planning for the next two Vexillology volumes to continue this sort of arc that I've set up, so if you'd like to see how the story goes, then you can subscribe and all that. The next video will be the fourth volume, where we'll be discussing flag colors, which means we'll also be coming across heraldry for the first time. Also, as usual, community tab. I post teasers there daily. It's a... It's, 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 go, look. Alright, anyway, see ya.